Don't fuck it up. Oh, oh! It worked! It worked! It finally worked! Oh, yes! <laughs> that's... that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> I tried it like, uh, I don't know how many times I now tried it. Uh, it was some time. So, uh, I forgot to <laughs> do my intro. Good evening, dear. I'm Landinium and welcome back to the Boogeyman. We finally did it and I'm going to save. <laughs> we finally did this. And... Ah, right, I forgot to mention. When I... <coughs> I'm sorry. I tried to start the game again and it crashed on me. Again. Like, I did, it did with the voice version. So I had to do it again, not the whole the whole gameplay, but um, until the last um, time we saved. And I got back into the room with this um, music box and there was a key inside. There was a key inside and I put the key inside the clown and the clown gave me this paper scrap. The writing looks like a kid, the paper isn't that old. Cypher from the room of secret seekers the genealogy from adam noir arc the tower of babel okay i don't know what this means but i wanted to tell you guys so what is this i'm new here what does he play it on the back it says get okay one's still cool a great of the whole of the no thing is inside candle stand Pretty bad, honestly, David. Why are people talking outside? I have to record here. No one's. Um, did he play it? In the back it says. Ganulzik. Was this in the game or outside? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> but okay. Something's gonna kill me here, isn't it? Okay, they all have some weird... There's something underneath it. Takes what under the bed. Gotta stay a piece of paper. Cool. I learned it. Check everything. Check everything. So what stands here? Okay. <laughs> I always expect something to crawl. Hello? Richard? I don't hear anything. Can I scythe, please? Thank you. What the fuck? I didn't hear anything. I don't know if it's broken. Richard's voice doesn't seem didn't seem to come from me. I didn't even hear his voice. Maybe he's the inside lock. Richard! K Keith! The David! The do you know where Sophie is? She's gone? I just looked away for a second and she wasn't there. I, I can't find her anywhere. He, he might have kidnapped her. Calm down. Start from the top. Telling such a tough old papa just to calm down won't do any good, you know? I synchronized it wrong, it was the Pokemon, I'm sorry. Where? You! Did you take my daughter? Where's Sophie? Ah, Richard. So scared your daughter will leave this world as soon as you're not looking. Just like your wife was robbed from, from a robber's gun. <coughs> Don't listen to him, Richard. Your wife, your wife was such a fair, cheerful, lady, a lovely lady, Richard. But the truth is, she was an unbelievable idiot, leaving herself in the care of a useless man like you. But it must have been a happy death. Just one bang, and she was gone. And what a beloved daughter she left behind. You fawn over her so, a real memento of your dear wife, yes? Mm -hmm. Humans tend to call them ambulance every time I'm recording, but humans 
do tend to die so easily, and I'm sure you are well aware. Stop it. Calm down, Richard. Don't listen to a word he says. Oh, poor Richard. Alistair Grundlers are down to just one Grundler. But don't you cry. You will be Grundler is again soon in hell. Don't you dare insult my family. What did you do to Sophie? Give her back this instant. If you lay even a finger on her, I will... You, you monster! Richard, settle down. Well, <laughs> I guess I better go. Cute little Sophie's waiting for me. Let's head back to land and Shirley. Let's stay calm. <laughs> Play people talking outside. My god, I'm so sorry. I never even noticed she was gone. And where was she? The bathroom. Thought she had to take a piss, but she never came back out. So we bossed down the door and she fled to the coop. <coughs> I'm gonna check. Check. <coughs> so, what? She's a little bigger than a dead goldfish. Is she? Whoa! Big car accident, like right from my door. What the fuck? Nothing inside. Hmm. So, what did you exactly thought you would find? A window with iron bars, even breaking the glass wouldn't let you go out. And there's a cliff, so you can't come from outside. Huh. What did you expect to find here? Oh, the fuck? Okay. Ew. Creepy. That little brat. Well, I kind of found out. Well, uh, surely you think you could get in the wind above the bathtub? Way too tight. My shoulders wouldn't even fit. She's small enough that she could have a doll. You mean Sophie snuck out on her own? You couldn't sneak out through the windows. Is it Shut up out there. My god. Is it she could live outside and I checked the room for any weird tricks when we came first in. The rim of the bathtub has marks by made by heels and some dust fell from the wind above. So she must have climbed up the top to get in there. That's crony <coughs> delicate girl could easily crawl though through. Richard, wait, you can't go alone. <coughs> Please let me go. I have that find has Sophie in his grasp. I we need to find Not yet, he doesn't. He's the kind of guy who puts out corpses for show. He if he'd caught Sophie he gladly flaunted, I'm sure. He must have half overheard Richard looking for Sophie and decided to mail. We'll find her before he does. Come on, David. And me too. You'll stay here. You're out of sorts right now. If you tried anything sudden, I couldn't guarantee your safety. Wait! <coughs> Please, you must find her for me. She's my own one and only daughter. After my wife passed away, I couldn't look in the eye for quite some time. But still, she's grown to be a wonderful girl. She's my pride and joy. If anything happened to her, I would... I look like... Quite terrified. What the fuck? So, sorry. When we find her, just wait for us. What the fuck happened to my voice there? <coughs> so, Keith, about that thing right there in the... 
What the hell is wrong with you? Um. And again, where do I have to go? I don't know. Oh, this is new. What is this? The tongue in which the slaves speak is so savage. I can't remember even a word. Shut up out there, my god. People are so irresponsible. I had to serve and translate and some and some uh, type some words for me. <clears throat> it should do well to sell the dictionary to my countrymen. Since it can become so boring around here, I suppose I might as well try to learn for if they should be saying anything impertinent out in the fields. I'll set him aflame on the spot. It's one way to pause the time, I suppose. Oh my god, what is this? I read this like this. Okay. Do I have to write this down again? Because the last time I did, it didn't help shine. Expensive looking shelves, there are locked uh, old cigars on the pipe inside and pipes inside. My god. <coughs> what is happening with my throat? Okay. Oh, comparing the paper with the dictionary, you got a gist of what was written. written. Oh my god. Fellow prisoners, we will, we will bear this no more. It is time we stand up against this tyrants. We will fight for our companions laboring on the own side. I have obtained a key that will let us get outside. We will wait until night, enter the garden and join with our fellows in the fields. We will watch vigilantly and take the castle for ourselves. The four of us will pass the key from one to another each day, in the same order as they song our people know. Okay. So what does that mean to me? I don't know. What does that mean to me? <laughs> Why do I repeat myself? I don't know. Look closer and die. Save. Look closer. There's nothing unusual there. Hmm. Hmm? What was the <coughs> first thing again? Son. He will do it rather he. Okay. Mm-mm. 
searching for this one with and no this one a little closer closer to bloody anything look closer look closer yeah. look closer so you can kill yourself Oh, something stuck in the back of the grate. Got the key. I like getting keys. Keys are always like an answer to a question I didn't even ask it yet. Why are people outside? It's like the middle of the night. Just hope you can't hear the people outside. <sighs> Iron door, I got an item for you, sir. I'm gonna say. And I'm gonna check. So it appears I'm right out of time. Okay. <clears throat> so we don't even got very close to Sophie this time. Mm. I will find her first and then take her. Come on, you got a process here. So what will kill me? Arrested iron door, blah. Untied ropes, do nothing. Uh, do nothing at first. I don't know. Will something kill me? Probably. What is this? Water fits the depression of the inflow. Ew. What the fuck is this? I don't see it shite here. I can't see shit. Who? A fountain, you can see the drain in the bottom. We're in a garden. David, isn't it romantic? Oh, we are, we are in the cemetery, David. Isn't it romantic? Where are we going? <coughs> uh, Sophie? S step back. Why did it have to be like this on our first vacation in ages? I wonder if Helena is okay. Oh, it's Sophie. Is something the matter? Why did you marry Mr. Keith, Helena? Why did you ask that? Lately, I felt like my heart doesn't even beat fast anymore. I can't think people are great and all, but that's it. I can't get excited about them I like used to. Like I used to. <laughs> it's like I forgot how to love. David and Shirley get along really well, so I'm jealous. And I don't want to be by myself forever. Why? How old are you? Like eight? 
So I'd like to know why you and Mr. Keith decided to get together, Helena. <clears throat> you know, love is like a jewel. It's buried deep in a person's heart. And one day you would just dig it up. Feelings like love and sympathy can create all different kinds of jewels. Thought, jealousy, anger and pride can share them too. Have you ever found such a jewel? Yeah, but I got rejected. Don't worry, you'll find it again. I hope you can make a wonderful jewel someday. So what's your jewel like, Lena? Mine is already complete. I don't want to meddle with it anymore. I just want to keep it deep in my heart. It's so windy. You have a mess, young lady. We should get back inside. <coughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm her. I'm, 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 what did you say? Oh, okay. <laughs> da, da, da. Jump. And get inside there. Go inside. This is still creepy, but go inside. I doubt this goes outside, but it has to go somewhere else in the castle. Alright. This is kind of creepy. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. So why again I'm doing this? But the boogeyman can't get inside here, can't he? He's way too big. He's like the size of a, a dual person. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. I do not. Let's get something will kill me. Um. But the question is, what will kill me? And when? And exactly how? I would like to discover that. No, I don't. <coughs> so this has to end somewhere. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I am lost. God damn it. I'm lost. I already was here. You see? But no mind that <clears throat> I don't got any time anymore. We found Sophie kind of and I'm going to end this episode here. We will get killed as Sophie in the next episode. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening and I'm going to be off now. Goodbye.